Welcome to the 8th grade practice writing test for the FSA. When you click the link on Google Classroom, it will take you to the sign-in page. Today we will be signing in as a guest user under a guest session. When you click the sign-in button, it will ask you for your grade level. Now unfortunately, the 8th grade essay is an informative essay and we need to practice argumentative essay. So you're going to scroll down and you're actually going to select grade level 9. This is not going to change the number of sources that you're going to have. In 8th grade, you typically get 4 sources and in ninth grade, they get 4 sources as well. It's also not really going to change the difficulty level of the writing or the reading. So the, you should be able to handle this essay without a problem. So you're going to scroll down and you're going to select the ELA writing practice test, which is the purple button. Once you click on that, you're going to come to an accommodations page. For right now, just select the green button. Do not change any of the accommodations. In the real test, you'll be able to review your test settings and you'll also be able to view a test help guide. This video tutorial essentially is the help guide in video format. Once you click begin test now, your test will appear. On the right hand side, you will see your prompt and on the left hand side, you will see the sources. To make the sources bigger and to view them more easily, you click on this little right arrow. To put it back to the way it was, you click on the left arrow. To remove the sources from view, you click on the left arrow again. There are a few features that the FSA portal allows for you to help you when writing your essay. The first is the highlight feature. Click and drag whatever information you want to highlight. There are two different ways to highlight. The first way is to come up here to these three lines and click highlighted section and then select a color. The second way is to simply right click and then highlight that way. If you want to remove all highlighting, you can either come up to this uh, button again and click Reset Highlighting, or you can right click and Reset Highlighting. If there's something specific that you highlighted that you do not want highlighted, you can click and drag over it again and select Remove Highlight. In addition to that, there's additional features such as the notepad. The notepad is a great tool for outlines. Uh, specifically, you can plan out your thesis, you can plan out your body paragraphs. So for example, I can plan out what evidence I want for my uh, paragraphs. So remember, a strong body paragraph has two pieces of evidence. I can plan out my counter arguments. Oops, I spelled that wrong. Um, I can also plan out my evidence uh, for my counter arguments paragraph um, and I can uh, basically take anything from this notepad and I can copy and paste it into my text box. Now I will not be able to copy and paste in, I'm pressing control copy right now. Uh, into this text box. Right now I'm pressing control V and nothing's happening. Um, but if I were to type up evidence, um, just give me a second here, in the midst of a large upheaval. Now it, once I've typed it here, I can copy or I can press control V. I'm going to click save and close so it'll save and I can paste into the text box. So whatever you type into your notepad will be able to be copied and pasted to and from the text box, but you will not be able to copy and paste directly from the source into the text box or to the notepad. Now, the next tool I want to show you is the line reader. When reading your sources, if you select the line reader, it will make it so that you can see very clearly which line you are reading. You select the down arrow in order to go to the next line. And so this is great for those of you who struggle with uh, keeping place when reading. And then you do have a zoom out and zoom in feature if you feel that you need to make the text larger. 
at any time during the test. Now, let's go ahead and let's look at the actual prompt. It says, you have been asked to write an argumentative essay for your school's blog in which you support or oppose the use of an artist's music in advertising. Use the information from the Should Musicians Change Their Tune passage set in your essay. So essentially, they want you to write an argumentative essay on whether or not artists should or should not use their music in advertisement. So obviously, you would read the sources and then plan your response, write your response, and then revise and edit your response. Remember, you want to include a claim, address any counterclaims, use evidence from multiple sources, and avoid overly relying on one source. Remember, it is best to have a strong four-paragraph essay than a weak five-paragraph essay. Now, when you're done with your test, normally you would be able to click End Test and it would save it. However, since we are logged in as a guest, anything that you type in this box will not be saved. So you need to type your essay into the Google Docs that was provided for you on Google Classroom. Um, other than that, there really is no other features to discuss. There is a pause button, but all it will do is bring you to this page. Um, and then, you know, you don't really need to pause your test at any time. If in the middle of your writing practice test, you decide you need to use the bathroom, you do not need to pause your test. You can just go to the bathroom and then come back. Um, so, uh, the save button won't do anything because you're signing as a guest. The next button will just end the test because it was, uh, there are no next questions to go to. Um, hopefully this helps you better understand how to navigate the FSA writing portal. If you have any questions whatsoever, please do not hesitate to email me and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can.